Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my fellow Glamazons. Um, today's video is going to be my monthly play box, and it's actually going to be the last one of these since I just stopped su subscribing to them, and I'm actually going to start doing Boxy Charm, which if y'all haven't heard of it yet, it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, basically what that is, is you'll get five full-size products, and their name brand, like Tarte, Colourpop, you know, the stuff that we all love at heart. So today's Playbox video is going to be the last one. And if y'all don't know what Playbox is, it's um, Sephora. They send you five trial size products. And they're random products. They can be makeup and then they can be facial care and hair care. And that's basically what they are. And they're really good products. Like I still have a lot. But I just wanted to expand my collection just a little bit more with that. Although I really don't know why considering I'm a freaking makeup hoarder. Y'all know the struggle, right? But anyways, and it's really cool that they do that because also on top of that, they send you this play pass. That's what they call it, the play pass. And you get 50 bonus points whenever you buy something. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so this month they were really focused on the uh, Instagram and selfie portion of makeup. So the bag they sent this month it was called make it snappy on the front so yeah and on top of that I get to kind of review two new products for y'all so that's exciting um, the first thing I'll be using and reviewing with y'all is uh, Peter Thomas Roth skin to die for that's a pretty big name right there no filter mattifying prior primer and complexion perfecter so I'm just going to kind of, the reason why I'm not wearing makeup is I had a few products in here that I wanted to try with y'all just to see y'all can see how the product works. So I'm just going to screw off the lid. Oh, it's, oh wow. That's brown. If y'all can see that. I don't know if you can. Let me just, yeah. It's brown. That's weird. But whatever. We're just going to take that. It smells kind of like, um, like a facial cleanser. That's weird. We're just gonna go. So my initial thought on this primer is, it feels pretty good on the skin. Um, very easy to apply. Um. Yes, now y'all can see my little acne bumps. Whatever. But I feel like it does mattify pretty well. It does definitely even out the tone of my skin. It took out what little bit of rosiness I had in my cheeks, but that's okay. So, I'd say that's not a... I'd say that's worth your money, definitely. Get it. I don't know how much it is. I know Peter Thomas Roth is a very expensive product, and... Oh, here's why it's picture perfect right here. This, mattifi this mattifying formula is the best preemptive step for looking flawless in surprise photos. It feels weightless, yet it keeps shine at bay. Plus, it fills in the lines and visually reduces the size and shape of pores and immediately, both immediately and over time. Well, I actually have got my pores have significantly shrink to begin with because I have been doing uh, my Clarisonic. I actually did that before I filmed this video. I clean my face two times a day on top of being a facial mask pour. No shame in my game. Hello. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know if I'd go so far to say it shrank my pores. I mean, they already are kind of small. But, I guess you could say the little fine lines under my eyes. I guess they do look pretty small. So, I guess that's not a complete gimmick. Alright, so next up we're going to try out this makeup for pre If I could English through one video, this would be great. It's Makeup Forever Professional Paris uh, Ultra HD Perfective Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. And it's Broad Spectrum SPF 25. Oh god. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this product or not. Let me read what the description says it is on my little treasure map as I so lovingly call their poster. Alright, 
It is a weightless skin tint that blurs imperfections and protects skin while it's picture perfect. This innovative skin tint lies in the beautiful middle ground between BB cream and foundation. Oh god. I might not like this because I am not a BB cream kind of gal. I like my full coverage. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation. And I mean, granted, I know that's kind of pricey for a makeup product, but like, on the other hand, like, it's not over the top expensive for a foundation, and that's why I love it so much, but still. Anyways, um, it blurs imperfections, moisturizes skins, and contains SPF 25 and provides just enough tint for a sheer to medium coverage. Oh god. I'm not gonna like this product. Maybe if I think I'll, it will. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into this video. We're gonna tell yourself that we're gonna like this. We're gonna like it. We're gonna like it. We're gonna like it. It's just gonna be a thing. We're gonna like it. It's okay. Alright. So. Oops, sorry, camera. Um, first things first. I don't think that is my skin shade, like, at all. I mean, granted, I have been doing self, I've been doing self tanning, and I just need to go and do that today. I'm probably going to go ahead and apply that after this video. Of course, after I wash off my face, but still, that is pretty far from the base. So, uh, we'll see. This is shade 8, so, God. We're going to squeeze a little bit onto my, yeah, my uh, foundation brush. Alright, and what I like to do is I'll go do, 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 and do. Alright, now we're going to blend that bitch in. Oh yeah. Well, let's start off with, I don't like the smell. To me, it smells kind of alcoholy. And second of all, it just does not match my skin. This is not my skin shade at all. Oh god. Well, it is blending in kind of nicely. But. Oh yeah. Okay, so I've been blending this in for a hot minute, and I think it doesn't look bad after I'm blended in, but that smell throws me off. I didn't like how it felt. It felt very, like, liquid, like, and not in a good way liquid, you know what I mean? Like, when you, it felt runny, that's the word I'm looking for, it looked runny on I just felt very runny and very loose, and that's one of the new products that's actually been a review, and I was hoping I would like it. Maybe if you're a sheer coverage kind of girl, and you like the tint and stuff, but for me, Makeup Forever, sorry, I like your brand normally, I'm a huge fan. That was just a miss for me, that is not my cup of tea, I didn't like the color on me, although... After I blended it in a little bit, it doesn't look as horrible, but as you can clearly see, now I kind of look orange, and it was very loose, and I don't know, the whole thing for me was a disaster from minute one, because I don't do, I don't do freaking SPF anything on makeup, because I feel like when you do something SPF, odds are it doesn't work very well. It, it just is what it is, that's just what I've taken with this stuff so yeah whatever maybe if y'all go out and buy it and y'all like it maybe we'll have different things I mean granted this was an awesome my shade and I don't know for me it was a miss but if you're into the uh, BB cream foundation thing you don't really want a full coverage and you like the SPF thing then maybe that'll be your forte but for me it just was a miss Alright, so the next thing they sent me was the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss. This is new. 
I mean, it was fairly new. I mean, it still is new. It's only a couple of weeks it's been out. So, I'll read to you what it says. This is the Holy Grail of Glosses. Our ultra shiny formula glides on cushiony soft and provides long lasting wear that is comfortable, not tacky, laced with vitamin E and peppermint oil. Hmm. Our hydrating formula nourishes and has a plumpy effect and comes in a yummy vanilla mint flavor. Alright, so I'm gonna take this out real quick if I can. Um it looks very shiny. The shade they sent me was SPL. It looks like that. The little baby size does anyways. And I'm just going to go ahead and just plop it on my lips. I think you, I think when I was reading the poster earlier it said I could. So. Oh wait, I want to smell it. Um, I like the smell. Um. It does smell really yummy. It kind of reminds me of toothpaste or if you're like me and you're a fan of the twisted peppermint. Kind of smells like that. Mm. It does apply very smoothly. I do like this color, but I'm just not a lip gloss gal. I want my lipsticks in I don't do gloss. I'm a matte kind of gal. But for a lip gloss, I will say this is pretty good. Um, it does did feel very um, refreshing on the lips, definitely. Mm, that's not bad. I think it'd be worth your money if you haven't bought it yet. I'd say if you're into lip glosses, this is a pretty good one. Um, it doesn't really give me a lot of pigmentation on the lips, so this is definitely something if you want to put onto it, onto a lip color, I would do that for sure. Um, yeah, you can apply it to bare lips or add a touch of sparkle to your favorite lip color. Yeah, so that's what Urban Decay suggests. So. I would suggest if you have a lip color that you just want to add a touch of sparkle to, I feel like this would be a go-to lip, uh, lip gloss, so I guess that's an, okay. Alright, so next thing I grabbed in my bag of goodies is the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. Um, I did use this, and I'll take it out and show it to y'all just for the sake of, uh, sake of it, but I don't know if it's just my skin or what, but I don't, I don't know, I'm not a moisture riser kind of gal. Um, I actually have pretty good, I don't know, I've never had a moisture problem with my skin. Like it's, I'd say I have normal skin. I have a normal skin type and because of that I've never really had to use a moisturizer but I do like the Purity uh, facial cleanser. That's what I use normally. So I like it. I thought it worked good but I'm not going to go out and buy it because I'm just not a moisturizer person, so. Okay, this is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Rescue Mask. It is a seed, seaweed radiance facial. And I did do this. I will say it felt very good on the skin. I liked it a lot. I thought this was a pretty good facial mask. And if you know me, you know I'm a facial mask whore. So. Um, it looks like this, and when you put it on, you will look a little bit funky, but I mean, I'm so, of course, expected that is with any facial mask. Well, let me read to you what it does, and I'll give you my opinion on the claim. Sorry, trying to put this back in the little box. It is a refreshing creamy mask that restores your skin's natural glow with its blend of seaweed, red algae, and lotus seeds. It will leave your skin moisturized and feeling baby soft. Plus, mask selfies are totally trendy. Yeah. Okay. I uh, just apply a nickel sized amount to clean, dry skin in circular motions to leave on for five minutes and rinse with warm water used up to three times a week. I liked it. 
I thought it was a good safe, uh, fel <clears throat> facial mask. I was going to combine selfie and facial, sorry. I thought it was a good mask for what it was. Um, I'm probably not going to go out and buy it because I don't like seaweed uh, for my facial mask. I've been using charcoal or I've been using an avocado oatmeal mix. So that's just, that is my take on that. And then the last thing that they sent me was this Elizabeth and James Nirvana White uh, Fragrance. It is a fragrance created by Ashley and Mary Kate. Um, I'll just kind of squirt it and sniff it and tell y'all what I think. Um, I haven't done that yet because of it. Um, it doesn't smell bad. I like it, but it kind of smells a little bit too bougie for my taste, I'm going to say. Um, it's kind of florally with a hint of musk. Let me read the description to y'all what it's supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> this classic floral scent is a phenomenon, soft, feminine, I swear to God, guys. I've read, I'm pretty good at English, I just can't talk ever. This classic floral scent is soft, feminine, and utterly captivating with its clean floral notes mingling with creamy musk. <laughs> it was dead on the money. Um, Ashley and Mary Kate created their signature Nirvana collection to represent the duality of their brand's namesake as well as their own partnership. Each fragrance adds a modern twist to classic notes to form a unique sense of new nostalgia. So it's floral with peony, mugat, nigat, and musk. So if you like that, I guess you should go and buy that perfume. So that is it for today's video. Um, it was kind of short and quick for me. I was a little bit chatty, but sorry. Um, I'm going to have a couple more videos hopefully coming out this week. It just depends on my schedule and how busy I am. If not, at least I did get this one done. So, thanks for tuning in, Glamazons. And as always, like, subscribe. If I could talk today. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And just tune and stay tuned. And hopefully soon I should be having another makeup tutorial coming at y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all soon. Much love as always. Bye, Glamazons.